God and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, in this Epiphany tide, now leading us to the feast of the holy baptism of our Lord this 13th of January, we uh, wish to reflect on a very important mystery which is like a thread tying all, tying all uh, truths of faith and uh, it is very uh, important for this, especially for understanding the mystery of Jesus' nativity. And this mystery is our, our Lady's perpetual virginity. Let us today reflect on this uh, mystery that is uh, Our Lady's uh, uh, inner being, her quality given to her by God. Our Lady is ever virgin. This is the faith of the Church proclaimed as a dogma in the sixth century and uh, also the canon of the Council of Constantinople, sixth century, were extended to whole church by Pope Martin I. The mystery of Our Lady's perpetual virginity is pointing to three moments in Our Lady's life uh, before the childbirth, that is during the conception of Our Lady, during the childbirth and after the childbirth. Our Lady is ever virgin. And the title of definition of Our Lady's perpetual virginity is right this, e partenos, sempre virgo, ever virgin. It is easier in some way to understand Our Lady's virginity in her conception, because the Gospel is clear, pointing to this moment, Our Lady, especially at the Annunciation, it is clear what Our Lady said, I know not man. Uh, and the evangelist himself uh, says that the name of the Virgin was Mary. But it is more difficult to see the virginity of Our Lady in her childbirth and also in uh, her uh, in the moment after this childbirth, her perpetual virginity. But if we understand well the meaning of the Gospels, both the Gospel of St. Matthew and the Gospel of St. Luke, pointing to the mystery of the virginity of Mary, we can easily uh, understand also the virginity of Our Lady uh, in the childbirth and uh, after. The virginity, in fact, is a quality of Our Lady. It is a mystery defining uh, her person, the person of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The perpetual virginity is the prerogative necessary for this woman chosen by God to become the mother of God and to keep in her life, in her self, the presence of God. We have another beautiful analogy that we can draw from the Holy Scripture to uh, compare this mystery of Our Lady's virginity with uh, the mystery of the Ark of the Covenant uh, in the Old Testament. You remember that the Ark of the Covenant had to be, was uh, a holy, was the holy presence of God amongst us, and no one could touch it. Uh, if someone was touching the Ark of the Covenant, he immediately died. This to signify that the Ark containing the presence of God was immaculate, was, uh, was uh, a great mystery, and no one could touch it for the holiness of the ark, for the fact that the ark was containing 
the presence of God. If the ark, that though uh, a very holy element was always something built by man was so holy, how much more the virginity of Our Lady, Our Lady herself, who is the true Ark of the Covenant, and solid Ark of the Covenant. That holiness prefigured by the Ark is completely revealed in Our Lady's life. And the very uh, manifestation of this uh, holiness of Our Lady is her virginity the quality of her life, the identity of Mary. In fact, the evangelist says that to identify this person, this Mary, as the fulfillment of the prophecies, both St. Luke and St. Matthew, Matthew explicitly making reference to Isaiah, say that the virgin was Mary, that virgin was Mary. So the virginity of Our Lady is the identity of Our Lady, her holiness, the manifestation of her being. So my dear people, let us uh, think carefully of this mystery, very important for our life, our Christian life, and for this, especially for this time Yesterday we have feasted the Holy Family, and there is no better way than keeping uh, the family, uh, no better way for keeping the family uh, holy than um, treasuring the mystery of Our Lady's perpetual virginity. The virginity of Mary, in fact, is the holiness of God the holiness of what God has made for us. We pray to Our Lady's perpetual virginity for all families to be pure as God wanted them to be, to be faithful to their own identity. We pray for each one of us to be faithful to our own vocation to be pure as God has planned for us to be. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, may the Lady Ever Virgin intercede for us and give us all graces to be faithful to our vocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.